This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. In this tutorial video, we're going to take a look at using bookmarks to navigate within Google Docs. I'll show you how to add bookmarks, how to link those to text, and effectively how you can use bookmarks as an alternative to a traditional table of contents. Let's get started. So in this example, I have a table of contents up at the top that I have typed up. Um, and I can click on any of the hyperlinked text and it will jump to that area of the document. So this is how you can use bookmarks as one way to navigate quickly around a document. The first thing you have to do is add the bookmark where you want to go to, so the destination. So for example, if this is one of my destinations right here, approving workshops, I would click to the left of where that text is, go up and choose insert bookmark. And from here, I need to press the word link, and that is going to allow me to hyperlink to this location. So now that I've done that, you'll see the little flag appear, and then I return to the area that I want to make clickable to allow me to jump to that spot. So I've typed out these words previously. You can type whatever you want. It doesn't actually have to match what this is. So I'm gonna highlight that, and then choose the link icon, or I can right click either way. And now, instead of linking outside to another document, when I have created bookmarks and I choose link, right underneath this link window, you'll see a choice for bookmarks. And if I click this little icon here, it will expand and show me all of the different bookmarks that I've created within this document. So I can choose the one right here that I just made, and then apply. One final suggestion is to link back to the top of your page where the table of contents is. So in other words, if you allow people to click easily to different parts of the document, which might be many pages away from the navigation that you created, instead of forcing them to scroll back up, you can actually add a linked footer like I have here. So see where it says return to table of contents? I want to link that so that at the bottom of every page they can return to this area. So remember, if this is my destination, this is where I would add the bookmark. So I'm going to choose insert bookmark. Make sure you hit link. And then I'm actually linking down here. So I would highlight the footer and insert a link, clicking my bookmarks choices and table of contents appears as a choice. So now, at the bottom of every page, I can return to the starting point. And that concludes our tutorial on using bookmarks. Thanks for watching. For this and other tutorial videos and help with using technology in your classroom, check us out online at teachingforward.net.